Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to Producing Video Podcast. Today, I'm going to share with you one of the secrets we use at my production company, Red Pixel, when it comes to getting ready for our shoots, and that is creating lighting diagrams ahead of time. Now, when you figure out where you're going to place your lights for your type, particular type of show, it's going to work out a lot better, especially if you have to go out into the field to do interviews or maybe travel with your show. By documenting where your lights are getting set up, makes it easier to plan. You know which lights you need to bring with you, as well as how everything's going to come together. One tool that we use is available on the Mac called Omnigraphle. Now, you can also do this with PowerPoint for that matter. I'm just going to particularly show you this one tool. Let's see how. So Omnigraphle makes it really easy because you could start to bounce things around and actually create measurements here. And if you look at it, it's really a simple tool. Let's just make a new document here for a second. And on the page, you could start to draw objects. But the good news with Omnigraphle is you really don't have to. Now, making an object is simple enough. We can go ahead and actually just click up here on the top and grab any particular shapes, like a rectangle. Or we can go ahead and take a look at this and actually change it. And you see we have all sorts of shapes over here. So you could start to do things like put in your shapes for a light, click on it, and now we can go ahead and grab that and draw it, and it works pretty well. You notice that you have decent tools for changing coloring and shading as well, and that's all fine. But the thing I like about Omnigraphle is that you really could avoid all of that work by simply visiting their website. When you go to Omnigraphle's website, you can actually find particular stencils. So let's go ahead here and go back to their website. And what we're going to do is click on the support area and go to Omnigraphle. Let's click on Extras here, and you see that we have a whole list of all sorts of different stencils we can use, everything from maps to Lego bricks. But besides the ones here on their website, you can do a quick search and just say Omnigraphle Lighting stencils. And you'll see here we have film lighting from Graffletopia. Now Graffletopia is a whole site with just stencils specifically for Omnigraphle. And you'll see here we actually have a film and TV category, but here is a whole film lighting category with everything from Kino Flows to 10K lights. If we click on film and TV, you'll also see that we have other things we can use here, like camera staging documents, where we see people sitting or standing, and they even have some outline tools for people who are using things like DVD Studio Pro. Couple others in here, you actually have some theatrical lighting setups, which are useful, and that works out well. So, quick visit there, you could download these very stencils we use here. Now, those of you that already have the book, Producing Video Podcast, we've posted several of our lighting templates right to the download section. So just simply enter the password from the back of your book and you can download those lighting templates. Here's one of them for a two camera interview setup. As you see here, we've gone ahead and dropped the people in. We've indicated where we're using our two fluorescent lights with bounce boards for reflections. We've talked about using bounce boards on some of our past shows. And we're using some backlights here for our three point lighting, as well as two lights to light up our two fabric backdrops. Now the nice thing with this is everything can be easily moved. So you can grab a particular light, move it around if you need to, make edits. All in all, very, very flexible. We'll zoom in a bit. And you see you got a lot of things in there. So there's our individual boards, the people, and the lights. The nice thing about this tool is it makes it really easy to map out your plans. And when you do this, you essentially will develop your packing list before you go on the shoot, so you know which lights you need to bring. Now, most videographers will tell you they like to have a few spare with them, but if you could figure out ahead of time what you're going to use, it'll cut down on overpacking, which is important today with the cost of airline tickets, or worse yet, underpacking, because you forgot a critical piece of lighting equipment. Simply mapping out your lights ahead of time will go a long way. So, if you're on a Mac, check out that Omnigraphle application. In fact, you might already have it. On several Macintosh computers, this application came bundled with the system for several years. 
Or if you're on a PC, just fire open PowerPoint and you can do the same thing with shapes and the drawing tools there and sketch out what you need. Once you start to build up your library of lighting setups, you'll get more repeatable results and things will start to look better overall. Thanks again for joining us. My name is Rich Harrington and be sure to check out our resource blog at vidpodcaster.com.